All right, welcome everybody to the LZX stream. Today, we have Switcher. I should have mic'd the buttons. We had to have very wonderful tactile sounds, but I did not. Uh, so we got, uh, you know, Switcher. I think it's kind of obvious, right? It does things. It's got four channels on two different buses. Channel one, RGB. Channel two, RGB. Channel three, RGB. Channel four, RGB. And then the A output, which is our top row. And the B output, that is our second row. Um, we have control inputs at the top. Uh, so there's like binary addressing, you know, like when I first got into audio modular synthesis, I forget big old, like three channel by 16 step sequencers who made those things and they had a uh, nice binary addressing inputs on it. So I, that's where I, that's where this is relevant to me or like where it makes sense or where I understand it already. But we have an A0 input and an A1 input, and we have a B0 input and a B1 input. We also have A enable and B enable. So that's A enable and B enable are going to be like general masking. Um, A0 and A1 actually, so if I'm on one, let's say I'm on channel one, right? And I'm looking at A, so I got these two inputs. Basically, I got two bits that I can add to create a number and add to this number. So right now I'm on like zero, or I mean, you can think of it as one, whatever. If a zero goes like over 0.5, whatever that threshold is for a high signal, then that's going to add one, say one, it's going to add one to our count, which means we're actually going to be on two. The light is still going to say uh, one, but we're actually going to be on two. If this one is high, if this one is high, then we're going to be on three. If they're both high, we're going to be on four. Now these are video rate, so they can be high and low in different parts of the screen, right? So we're, we're basically just going to be doing a big old, a big old, um, composition, right? We're going to be like masking certain certain feeds into certain blocks into certain areas based on whatever weird pattern we put into these uh, two inputs. Uh, obviously, I mean, so if you had some really specialized controller or whatnot, you could kind of make this thing count and you could just go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and do like whole frame kind of things. But ultimately, you know, we're going to be putting feedback into those inputs. We're going to be putting oscillators and complex oscillators and really anything under the sun into these inputs. And that's where it's going to stand out as like a video sequencer. Meaning it's going to sequence, you know, within the line, within the frame and certainly within the line. So uh, let's patch some things in. Where are my Aja, Aja bees? I have some cameras hooked up, so that's a good way to start. We've also not seen any footage. I don't think it's the, the clay sequencer. I mean, I know the clay sequencer. It might have those inputs too, but I was thinking of like, a, it's like a more of a, a mainstream kind of product, you know? Um, anyways, take these out. Who's having fun with stacker? Who's having fun with ribbons? And which one's better? Fight. Oh boy. So we're patched into input A. We are coming out of, I mean, sorry, we're patched into input one. And we are coming out of um, 
we're coming out of uh, channel B. Channel B is on input four, so we got to get that adjusted. There we go. There's my white balance, and that's coming in stage right. Um, There we go. We got it. We did it. Input two. No. That music too loud is just crazy loud in here. HB Coffin, you following me? You following me? So loud in this room. Oops. All right, second camera. Let's go. Ah! Uh, so we have a TBC two, we have a switcher. We're on our way to a modular video mixer, right? That's just what's happening. It's what we want. It's what we've wanted. It's what we want. And by golly, it's gonna happen. All right. So now we need something else, right? Let's go. SMX and take some DSG and uh, you know make some colors make some colors doesn't really matter what order these are in yes and yes and not a fair comparison what's not a fair comparison oh stackers and stackers and uh, ribbons which one yeah, I mean, they're both very, like, like stairs-esque in a way that they're, like, they can be just looked at as, like, a pretty cool, um, like, effect. And, it, and if you can use it in very similar ways. You know, you can go back to it repeatedly and kind of get really good stuff out of it very easily. That makes sense? Like, the first time you ever touch the stairs, I feel like that's what it's like. You're like, oh, damn. I can run with this for a while. Input three... Those red, white, and yellow snakes, yes, they are. They were the samples when we started getting the new mini snakes. Oh yeah. So we got camera, camera, fucking funky, funky, funny colors. I think I said a swear. All right, Baja, give me a gradient. We want a rainbow or do we want like watermelon? Slouching. All right. Channel four. Things going real slow. So we've got four inputs. 
and we're gonna try to sequence them a bit right pendleton pendleton So very simply, we can just use, you know, a square wave. There we go. So I've got the different camera feeds because there's my finger in two different, the same finger, two different spots. So that's my, uh, I got all my feeds in there. I got a Baja. I've got my DSG, right? And let's make the oscillators do something a little bit more interesting, right? So we can bring like some shapes up from DSG, start frequency modulating. I want to hit this too. That's funny. All right, frequency modulation. I love I love doing this stuff uh, like in the studio, like feedback cameras and even like cameras on on subjects like we're doing right here. Where you just get like multiple angles of the same exact thing and then kind of run them through a synth and you get weird vibes, weird vibes. And so that's about, you know, we that's all we can do with channel A. Well, no, we can still use our A enable. So historically, when we would talk about this kind of a module and me thinking about using like V4s uh, for a long time, I V4, I'd always leave one input empty. So I'd only use three inputs. And then I had a feedback. So it'd be like, I basically have input one, I'd have a source, input two, I'd have a source, input three would be empty and input four would be feedback. And I would do that so I could like do these like taps, like in and out of um, feedback essentially. And I'd wanna be like, like get the feedback into a black space. So I'd like dig, go from feedback and double tap straight into the empty channel. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna probably keep an empty channel on this thing a lot because it's really nice because we don't have an empty channel right now. So we have no black space. Now, if I pull out the Baja, right, it's already depending on our preset. Basically, when you once you're driving it with these CV inputs, changing the button is just kind of like changing the order of which pattern is where. You basically have four presets for any given patch uh, once you're driving it, once you're like in a more of a sequencer mode, right? Um, but I don't have to account for that negative space in my inputs, because we can just use this A enable. So let's put Baja back in here. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. You 
know what? It's probably cooler. You think it's... Well, I'm just going to rearrange these. Like, maybe I shouldn't put the cameras next to each other. And that way, they're like... I'm not sure if that makes sense in my head. If, like, they're not going to be next to each other in the pattern, then? I'm not... I don't know. Pretty sure the count can make it work any way you want. Once you're... Yeah, I don't know. Anyways. Um... Hey. Hey. Zoom out. Zoom out. All right. So A enable. No, B enable. A enable. We're on channel A. Oh, yeah. Look at that. How hard you want to hold it. This is such a lo-fi video. You like that? Did that just blow everyone's mind collectively as a group, as a social click? Just no minds left. All right, where are we going to plug it in? There we go. Sure. That's a mask. All right. All right. Let's not get out of control. It's going to be a long night. Very, very long. That's pretty nice. Oh, hey, these cameras have horrible color. This shitty camera I'm doing it's like a document scanning camera. It's way better than these Sony handy cams. God, I can't even. Where are they? There they are. Look at these things. Boots. Boots. We need boots. There's a dog. All right. Um, what else can we do? We got, is there anything left to do on this thing? You guys tell me. I'll, I'll wait. Modulation router? Well, of course. Yeah. We should do that. But I'm thinking there's still something else we can do. We can, like... Can we feedback? Can we feedback? Let's try to feedback. Uh, we have the B channel open, right? What are we going to do with the B channel? I don't know. Send it somewhere else, like to the inputs that are already driving this whole shenanigan. What are square waves good at? These are basically all square waves, right? This whole module puts out square waves with gradients inside the square waves. That makes sense, right? But I bet we can get some things to trigger, like these reset inputs on these DWOs. Ooh, what did we do? And now I have my feedback presets down here on the bottom. Which one do I want? Ooh, look at, look at, look at me. I'm, I'm Big Papa. Alpa.
All right, so uh, no one's excited about this. That's all right. Just me and Deep Flake having a little get together. Uh, we can now drive the B channels, can't we? Yeah, we can drive the B channels. Let's drive the B channels. Ooh, 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 double. 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 Mm. So, uh, what else can we say? We're driving this thing pretty hard. We're driving the A channels. We're driving the B channels. Um, what we can do is try to give ourselves some control over where that threshold's happening. No, you're not going to actually get any key, the actual key signal that's being used, right? Uh, you don't have that as an output. It's just being used internally. Uh, very similar to like FKG. FKG makes keys, uses keys. You don't get to get, you don't get the key in like all but like one patching scenario. So you can't patch that actual, that actual key elsewhere. Proc in front of the sequencer controls. Great idea. Well, that's what we were waiting for. So let's take these two main A modulators. Put them down here into the B inputs of proc. So I have some attenuation control on them. Plug them back in over here. Ooh, I can really dial that sweet spot in. These are really tiny little sweet spots. I'm barely moving the controls on the proc. Almost getting like a ghosting effect. Because it's like just caught right on that edge of the of what it's trying to make a key from. Like that other camera is just kind of like up in, in that upper left corner, kind of chasing it, but slightly not there. deal I'll, I'll do that next time we're gonna have more props next stream things like behind me hanging out maybe something on the wall maybe a pinata um so we got it all glitchy what do we think about glitchy Look at that.
I'm not gonna lie, a lot of this is extra cool because of these two cameras. But, uh, you know, that's the thing. That's how you drive this, uh, this old module that we call Switcher. And, um, now I'm gonna unplug it, okay? One cable at a time. I want to have two TBCs, twos, two TBC twos, and four video cameras. Fuck. I want. I want four TBC twos and two switchers, and then I'm gonna go to town. <laughs> <laughs>